Okay, hello everybody, I'm Julie, and you're watching me on Julie's Creations, aka Grandma J. Bud. I am going to do a devotion, a devotional, a uh, tutorial on diamond painting. So let's open it up, which is the first thing you do course. Okay, it comes with a packet that has all of the diamond dots you're going to need, or the drills. And for um, For this, it's called di Diamond Dots, but you see, it gives you all of them you're going to need. Then, it gives you your canvas, which is a butterfly. Then, you get a little baggie that has everything else you will need in it. Or once you've done like a few diamond paintings and such, you'll go out and get things like this and this. And this, this is the one I'm going to use today because it has the piece on it that's like that one. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go to, first I get, I don't like this one, so I'm going to put that away. I like the ones with the little spouts on them. So that's just my preference. You can use the one that comes with the package. You cut the first one off. Then you cut it open. Okay. And pour it in here. And this says that the diamond dots number is 8404, which if you get into it more, you'll need to save that. Okay, so we have our diamond dots in here and let me you okay this is another type you can get of the wax and you just put it in there a couple times then you take the cover off set it aside and you will pick up the diamond dots with your um, drill pin. Now, this one is number one. So number one is everything that has a brown dot in it. So you look for the brown dots and you stick it on like so. And here we are. Very 
there are some on the wings. And you can move them around a little bit if you don't get it in the right spot. And you just stick them on there. One at a time. Unless you have one that you can do more than one at a time with. I prefer doing one at a time for some reason. But here we are. And let's put one there. And then go here. Here. And we just put them all on. And there's the antennas. Now for the body. This is the color for the body too. And you just stick it on the spots. It doesn't have to be exact. go down. There we go. There. That's where I want it. Then, uh, it's upside down. Yeah, you got to be careful not to get ones that are upside down because then when you try to put it on, it doesn't look right. And it doesn't stick right either. And we've got four more of this color to do. Then I will show you what is done for the leftovers of these. Okay, we have all of number one on. Now, I don't think this came with any little baggies, but if you have any, that would be a good thing. Just little ones like this. And so you're going to take one. them them in here and then you're gonna put your number in there. Now let's cut it down. There we go. Now let's put our number in and that way you know which one it is. Now, we will cut number two from the package. And there it is. And, not this way. We will cut it open. Let's put the garbage up there and put it on into the tray. Bring the tray down a little bit. And I'm going to cut a little bit off of here so that we can use it later. Now, this one 
is number two, which is this one right here, the minus sign for the yellow. So we will fill in all of those. said we just try to get them onto the spot there we go yeah. that coincides with yeah. either the symbol or the color the symbol in this uh, one is the um, minus sign so we get them all going on here. And if we get them on the right spots, it will look like, I mean, they will be in a line. Now let's do these for the bottom wing on this side. Try to get them all on there in a line, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. Okay, now let's do the other wing. I'm going to start with the center row. And then I will do the down row, one that's down here, two, and there's three of those. Now I will do the one on top. Or minus signs or yellow spots. Now let's go to the bottom wing. Every once in a while you'll probably need to do that to find get get them right side up so you can do this. And There's the top row. Let's go to the bottom row of that. And there we go. That's it for the yellow or the minus sign, whichever you want to call it. We get our baggie out. We dump these in and then our number goes in with it. Okay, now we're going to get number three out. And that's one of the blue colors. Okay, now make sure you get all of them out of the way before you start cutting so that they won't be in the way. Didn't cut that down far enough. Okay. So we will take and dump it 
Try and get all of them out. There we go. And let's cut the side. There we go. Now, let's shake this a little bit. Make sure we have enough. Okay, now, the carrot right there is what we're looking for now. And those, it looks like it lines the outside of the wings. So let's go ahead and do that. And line the outside of our wings with this color blue. using the carrots. And here we are. And The top wing on the right side is almost done. And then we will do the bottom wing. Now the top wing, it goes all the way to the inside of the wing. Sometimes you get more than one and you can just leave it and use it. But they sometimes like to stick together. And there's that side. Now let's get the bottom wing. We're doing the carrots. The carrots or the up arrow, whatever you want to call it. And we are just putting it right on the dot for it all the way through until we don't have any more on that side. And then we go to the other side. There we are. And there we go. Okay, so those are done. Now let's do the other side. And sometimes I get mine upside down so that I can get close to what I'm working on instead of reaching across the whole picture. Because then you get your hands stuck to the canvas. And you just Keep going. Here we are. Keep going. And then and here we are. done with the top wing on the left hand side and like the other one it's going to go to the inside of the top wing
and you just keep going until there are no spaces left for that color. at all. Okay, so now we're going to go to the bottom wing. And continue. There we go. My husband has turned his music on loud enough that I'm pretty sure my phone can hear it. And I will end up with a copyright problem. So, we've got that color done. Now, we will put these in here. There we go. And then we put our number that coincides inside. This is A3. Okay, and there's number three. Now, let's see, we're doing number four. Okay, so try and get everything. There we are. Now, we're going to pour out our diamond dots. And then uh, do a little cutting on the end. So there we are. And okay, so the next color is number four, and the key on the side says it's the X's. So it's the blue ones that are closest to the yellow um, on the inside of the. Um, of the wings. So we're going to do that and it's really really close to the color of the outside of the wings but um, it's not the same color. There we go. Whoops. Okay. And we keep going. Uh, not my favorite music either. So. Here we are, and we will get all of these on here. There we are. Okay, now we go to the bottom wing and do the same thing around the yellow area, or gold, whatever color you want to call it. Um, I already have one on there. So, we are going to do all of the X's or these light, light blue. Okay, I'm going to take it upside down for the, outs, the, the left wing. And... There we are. 
almost done with this swing. I'm going to have to edit this. some music in the background that is not. I forget this lady's name. Anyway. And there we are. And we're just about done with this wing and this color even. So, okay, there's the last one. So we finished with the X's. We are going to take our next baggie and put these in it and then we will take this and put it in so that we know what number it is. Okay, now we go on to the last one. Make sure you get all of the diamond dots out of the way. And you cut it open. Then you're going to drain it into here. And then just Cut some off of the end so that you can put this into the bag. Okay, now these, these have extra shiny stuff on it. So um, we are now on the last number five the last one and that is all the remaining um stuff that needs to have diamond dots or drills put on them there are two names for these diamond dots and drills. And if it's not sticking to the end like it should, you'll just go and get some more of the wax. And then continue putting, of course, the wax sometimes comes off onto your diamond dot. Just wipe it off and don't worry about it. I am going to do, I am doing the top right wing for this one right now. And then I will do the bottom right one. And then I will go to the top left. And then the bottom left. Continue on. Until you have no more places to put this color. 
I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So that I can get this done and it's not too boring to watch. This is a small one. I will show you one of my big ones in progress when I'm done here. And then um, I will let y'all go. Oops, oops. These do not want to stay on my diamond dot pen. My uh, drill pen is what they're called, actually. My drill pen. And I moved my scissors out of the way. There we go. And here we are. Okay, that wing is done. Now we'll do the bottom right wing. So let's start here. And do that one. Then let's go straight down the middle of that. Do what seems easiest to you. I go in the order on my thing, I go in order of one, two, three, four, and five. Um because it's much easier to um, know exactly where you're at and what you've done. So, that's how I do it. Not everybody does it the same way I do. Some people start at the bottom and work their way up to the top. Um, and that's another good way to do it. I did do that with one diamond painting that I did. Um, it was a lighthouse. Okay. So let's go down here. And it's best to, s to get as much of the outside as you can. Um, so that on the bigger ones, it doesn't stick to you. Um, the canvas doesn't stick to you. And stick. There we go. Sometimes, even after you've put the wax or whatever it's called on, it has trouble sticking to your uh, drill pen. Keep it going. Try, and if it doesn't work on one, it will work on another one. Mm 
but there we go and let's go on Keep going. And let's move things a little bit. And we're getting close to being done with the swing. I just can't get it on there, right? So I pick another one. And this time that one works. Sometimes you have to pull them out to pick them up because it gets stuck in ruts in your tray. kinds of different things that could happen while you're doing it. Now I'm going to do the bottom left wing. Okay, and we've almost got this done. I like this butterfly. I like butterflies, period. I do, I do. Where was I? Here. Pretty. Um, come on. Okay. There. All right. We've got just a little bit left. Sometimes it's hard to get it right on the center and it doesn't want to come up for you. Okay. And there you go. This diamond painting is finished. It's one of the ones that doesn't have a frame that goes with it. So, it is completely finished. Now, let's put the last one in a baggie, and I will show you what I do with them after. Five zero zero three. Uh huh. Okay. Now, I get my trays out, and I have, ooh, okay, so, I'll start with where the oh I'll start with the fifth one because that will go first and I need um I need some things 
And I don't know. Here's this. And I got more of these. Oh, that's where that is. Okay. Move some stuff. And get my, my chart out. And let's put it all back. Okay, so I will need, and I've already got, I have three, so that should be good. Um, and I need one of these. Now, 5003 does not have a DMC number, so I'm just going to write 5003 on my sticky tab. and put it on, then I'm going to pour them into my try and get all of them in there. Okay, looks like they're all out of that bag. It's in the tray and you just push it in there. And I don't have the space for it right now because it goes right here and I'm gonna have to move some stuff. So I'm gonna set it to the side. I'm gonna do that with all of them unless some of these others have. Okay, this is 8134. Okay, don't have that one. So let's dump all these into the tray. Sometimes they don't want to come out and you have to force them. Okay, they're in my tray. I need to get another one of these handy dandy thing. And Let's see, the number is 8134. I'll put that number on the top. 8134. And then I will look up the diamond dots equivalent, which is 813. 813. So, I've got both numbers on there. It makes it much easier to figure it out when you're taking a Diamond Dots color and using it on um, the DMC. So, don't want to stick sometimes and you have to like push them down on there. So these will go in here. Sometimes you have to help them in. And I will set this one to the side just like I did the other one. Now 
8138. I do have one of those. So I'm going to pull it out. Okay, I'm going to get all of the diamond dots into my tray. Okay, and I'm going to stick them in here, and at some point I am going to um, fix the top of that so that it has both numbers on it, and I won't have to keep looking them up. Okay, oh, that's the one I just did. 8325. Ah, I have that one too. Right here. Yeah. Why? So, I'm going to empty this into my tray. Wow. Into my tray you go, and pour them in. Okay, and I can put this back where I got it from. Now, eight four zero four, eight four. Ah, don't have that one. This one's in between oh. the two that I have. So, let's do 8104. And then look it up over here. 8104 is 554. No way. Eight four zero four, not eight one. Oh boy. Ah, there we are. Nine three eight. So I put nine three eight on the bottom. I'm going to fix all of my tabs so that they have both numbers on them. And let's see, this is my last empty one in this bucket. So, let's pour these into my tray. Then, open this up. And stick the rest in. And that's all there is to it. I will move all this stuff after I'm done. But what I did, oh, I want to show you this. This here is a list of yes. all the diamond dots and the corresponding. DMC shades, just in case you wanted wanted that. Um, and this, sure. if you need to match things, I printed this out. No, this and there's is not. three pages to a color to it. You're me right now. So you're trolling me. There we go. Now. You're trolling. I will show you no, no, no. you troll a picture that I am working on right now. You're I'm trolling. close to being done with it, but not there yet. You're this trolling. is a picture that I took and I had made into a diamond painting. And I, this is what you call a full drill. 
diamond painting, which means these drills fill the whole picture. Two pine cones in the grass. So that's what I've been working on recently. Um, and this this is a partial drill where you just put the diamond dots or drills in one yeah. portion of the whole picture. And let me show you one that I finished. He's trolling. Butterflies. He's trolling. This is also what they call a full drill, which means the whole picture has drills or diamond dots. So that's my um, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless and have a good rest of the day. Um, oh.